Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This question is from my sister. She says that I'm a 27 year old uh, married woman. Alhamdulillah. I am uh, blessed with a baby girl who is going to turn two very soon. I share a really healthy life with my husband, but the problem is that he doesn't have sex with me, not even in 15 days. And sometimes it goes to two, three months. His reason is that he's afraid of me conceiving the second child as he doesn't want a um, second child for another two, three years. But I need to have a second child because I feel I'm at the right age of having a baby. So my question is, how do I make him understand this? I request you to please help me on this topic. Sister, uh, you seem to have uh, two problems. One is your husband's reluctance to have sex with you. And the second is his disagreement with the family planning. Um, there are four reasons for a husband's reluctance to have sex. Um, number one is that he's unhappy with her. Um, the bedroom mirrors the rest of the relationship. So if there is trouble outside the bedroom, there is bound to be trouble inside it. Reluctance or having a minimum interest in having uh, intimacy with a wife is one of the signs that he is unhappy and there is something wrong in the relationship that needs to be fixed. Second reason is that he is withholding sex purposely due to a lack of emotional connection. The emotional connection uh, does matter to husbands and it can affect how they experience desire. So if a husband doesn't feel connected to his wife emotionally, he may not want sex often. The third reason is that he has health issues or addictions. The fourth reason is that he is in the 20 person club. It means that all almost all marriages go through a period when the husband has a lower sex desire than his wife. While for some these periods may be temporary, however, 20% of marriages fall within the category where sex takes place the um, backseat in the life. It means that lack of interest in sex does not necessarily reflect how a man um, feels about his wife. He can be absolutely in love with uh, her and thinks um, she's very attractive, yet still lack the interest to perform sexually because he, is, um, he naturally has a low sex desire. So I will go uh, over with the detailed description of each uh, one of these four reasons. However, uh, understand one thing after listening to this video that even if you think you understand why he refuses sex, you could be wrong or only partially um, understand the issue. The truth is only your husband knows why he has less interest in sex with you. No one can answer this issue with certainty. That's why uh, it is important to talk to your husband uh, on this issue. Um, and tell him how you really feel about this and try to solve it with mutual understanding. So, inshallah, uh, let's go over these reasons in details. So, the first reason is that he is unhappy with you um, and it could be for several reasons. Perhaps you have stopped putting on uh, much efforts into your appearance since you married or after having a child and this is very, very um, uh, natural thing or normal thing uh, I've seen in uh, sisters of doing it uh, after getting married they don't pay attention how they look um, maybe you're disrespectful towards him through your action and speech it is also quite possible that he is withholding sex from you because of the disagreement in family planning um, having a child or adding a child to the family is a big decision that both parents match mutually make if he is not ready to take on additional responsibilities, you shouldn't force it. Um, think about it, maybe um, parenting uh, doesn't come naturally to him. And maybe he has um, limited stamina for it. Or maybe he thinks that um, adding another baby to the family means less time with you and more financial burdens. As you are already having some difficulty in marriage whether sexual or otherwise the obvious thing you need to do is to sit and talk to him about uh, about this issue before considering bringing another child into the world you are only 27 year old and i am guessing that he may be a few years older than you you have many years to conceive women can conceive and have a, a healthy pregnancy even in their late 40s and you have many many years to go yeah, two three years doesn't matter sister enjoy your life and uh, listen to your husband and just take a break like you know uh, enjoy having uh, one child right now and then inshallah you can grow your family big in the coming years so i suggest that you put this um, topic aside for now and focus on your relationship with your husband 
after a year or so you both can revisit the situation and see then for now focus on building a meaningful relationship with him don't set up your mind that you will be happy only if you have a second child because think about it if your husband gives you a child and it destroys your marriage god forbid is he really giving you a gift will you really be happy so don't let him grow resentment towards you by insisting on having another child because that will put a strain on your relationship and i believe that it's already has put a strain on your relationship so uh, don't uh, um, don't and don't um, grow resentment towards him also because he's refusing your request uh, marriage is not a game of the olympics if you give if you give up on having a baby for now but resent him did he really get what he wants and if you get the baby but he, your husband is resentful towards you will you really be happy i hope you understand my point that what you need to do is to move forward on this topic as a teammates rather than opponents instead of trying to get him to agree with your perspective you should work towards um, uh, together towards um, understanding each other only then you can make a thoughtful decision about the path forward inshallah um sometimes um sister or rather most of the times uh, that uh bending and sacrificing just a little bit for the person you love um to see them happy is the only way to make things work the i feel that it's very important to sacrifice and compromise so you have to think about that the second reason for withholding um sex could be due to a lack of emotional connection there is no doubt that a sexual relationship is significant for most men it's number one on their list for what they want in marriage however some men naturally have a lower desire for sex to them fulfilling their emotional need is more important than the sexual needs and this satisfaction of um, their emotional needs causes them to arouse now the question is that what are the um, what are some emotional needs that a wife must make to sure um, uh, make sure to fulfill to get her husband's attention um it's just um some uh, simple act of physical uh, affection and touch from you um and not just sex cuddling up to him holding hands while sitting and chit-chatting actively listening to him giving him respect and valuing his opinions are some of the emotional needs that a husband wants from his wife watch um how you talk to your husband are you expressing more criticism than expressing love and respect and gratitude if something important to your husband it should matter to you some men stay away from their wives because they get the impression that they aren't wanted or their opinions aren't valued so they try to stay away if he is dis- distancing away from you emotionally and sexually you need to ask yourself that um if you have done anything to push him out and if you have maybe it's time to value his opinions and uh, start honoring it um the third reason for a lower uh, sex drive uh, or desire could be either uh, due to health or um uh, addictions health problems could be due to low testosterone uh, the hormones responsible for sexual arousal if your husband uh, seems to have a low libido uh, try to convince him to have it checked out a simple blood test can verify whether he has um, uh, whether he does have low hormone levels and uh, if he's overweight that can also cause uh, low testosterone uh, as fat produces uh, estrogen which work against the testosterone and the reason for low sex desire is an addiction to pornography if he is so consumed with something else he will not be able to feel aroused or excited when you are around god forbid if um this is the case then his lack of interest is uh, not necessarily a rejection of you it is um something else it is simply a physiological response to something else this issue um unfortunately is a very big problem on its own and it needs to be handled with a lot of patience and wisdom the fourth reason uh, could be uh, him falling into um, a 20% club which means that he has a lower sex desire naturally as compared to other men 
this means that your sex life may not fall into average but it may be normal don't confuse average with normal if the average um, uh, married men desire sex every three days or once a week there will be normal men um, who have both higher and level sex drives and the same goes for the women so um, if your husband doesn't fit into a stereotype then there's nothing wrong with him or with you what other people are doing or what the norm is is irrelevant in this situation the only thing matters is whether he loves and cares about you or not some men in um, the 20 percent bracket or 20 percent club are very loving and attentive in ways other than their sexuality these husbands may be generous with the words of affirmation or through their actions if he shows um, other forms of physical affection such as having a meaningful conversation with you holding hands a playful touch and hugging and so on um, if this is the case then it means that your relationship is normal and healthy alhamdulillah and there's nothing to worry about it every couple has a unique sexual relationship accept yours for what it is and enjoy working together um, towards wholeness as a couple learn to compromise whenever one person wants sex more often than the other the obvious answer is to compromise remember that sex uh, isn't love but it is designed to be an expression of love the most um, mature expression of love in your marriage is embracing your husband um, um, simply for who he is without demands and expectations lastly if you are extremely dissatisfied with the situation and nothing uh, solves the issue then you shouldn't do anything that make you uncomfortable and unhappy and um, including uh, staying in the relationship where your sexual needs are not met this means that um, islamically um, you're allowed to seek for khula breaking up and remarrying to somebody else might be the best course of action um, in the situation if if you feel that you can not uh, bear this problem and you cannot um, or your sexual desire is too much uh, uh-huh. and then he's unable to fulfill them and Allah knows best assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh